All right, hi students, we, Mr. Kutsi here, and uh, we're going to be talking about how to factor difference of squares today. Okay, so a couple things. First thing, what the hell does that mean? Well, difference in math means subtraction, and squares in math, we're not talking about geometric squares, we're talking about number squares. So a square would be like x squared, and a square would be like 16. Okay, now to factor this, here's the technique we're going to use. What's weird is there's no middle term. That's okay. We'll show you why that that's actually makes this easier. Okay, so to get the x squared, that comes from x times x, 16. You could use 8 and 2, but that's not what we're doing here. We're using squares. 16 is a perfect square, so we're using 4 and 4. Now, the key thing here is in order for it to be a negative, it needs to be a positive and a negative, a plus and a minus 4. Now, that might not seem to make much sense, but let's check this. Okay. And to check it, we will use FOIL. All right, our method FOIL. So we took this and we factored it to get to there. Now what we want to do is go backwards. So in other words, if we got x plus 4, x minus 4, let's go and FOIL this to check it. x times x will give you x squared. x times minus 4 and 4 times x. To the outside and the inside, 1 gives you minus 4x. The inside gives you plus 4x, and the last, 4 and 4, gives you minus 16. And here's the key for why this works. If you do this carefully, you need a plus and a minus, because what happens is the 4x and the minus 4x cancel each other out. And what are you left with? Just x squared minus 16, which checks, because that's what you started with. That right there is the difference of squares. All right, that's the basics. So if you get that, all we have to do is just talk about, okay, ooh, how can it be a little bit tougher? Okay. Well, let's see. Same rule applies. Let's see if it was, let's say, x squared minus y squared. Okay. Anytime it's a perfect square minus a perfect square, the rule works. The x squared came from x times x. The y squared came from y times y. But in order for it to be a negative, you have to have a plus and a minus. That's also the reason why the middle term cancels out. So always be like that. And if you don't believe me, if you don't trust yourself on a quiz, foil it. You should foil it. And you want to make sure it works out nicely. Okay, let's try one more just to really drive this point home. What if they have 16x squared minus, mm, let's see, 9y squared? What you have to recognize is that this is actually a perfect square. It's very much like this. Just instead of one number, this is the same as having 4x squared minus, and if we think of this one as being 3y, then it's exactly the same as this. Just instead of x, you have a 4x. Instead of y, you have a 3y. But the method's the same, because it's still a perfect square minus a perfect square. A difference of squares. So then this thing, 4x and 4x, that makes sense. That gives 4x squared, or 16. 3y and 3y. One's got to be a plus. One's got to be a minus. And there it is. Right, so that's factoring a difference of two squares. Okay, we only get better by this through this stuff by practice, so we're definitely going to want to practice, practice, practice. Let's slide on down. Let's do one last one. I know I said I was only going to do... That last one, but now let's do one last one. One last, last one. If you had x to the fourth and something like 64, it doesn't look like difference of two squares because it's like, okay, well, four is uh, not a, well, actually, four itself is a perfect square. But what it is is you got to think of this as being something squared minus something squared. And the something squared here is x squared. x squared squared <laughs> minus 64 is really 8 squared. Or, think of it this way, x2, x2, and 8, and 8. And 1 must be plus, 1 must be minus. That's the key. Okay. And as far as Algebra 2 goes, that's about the toughest you're probably going to see. So you should be in good shape. Uh, try that out. Bring questions to class.